So hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to work with lens helicoids and then by that I mean disassembling them, cleaning them, re-greasing them and then reassembling them. And then as a support I'm going to use this lens, it is a Nikon Series E 15mm 1.8 which has a rather simple helicoid mechanism but it is also very representative of helicoid mechanism and then the way they are assembled and then the way they work so and then why is important to know this well I have to tell you that I like buying broken lenses on the internet and then many lenses that I buy is because someone tried to disassemble the lens and then they didn't manage to properly reassemble the lens and then the lens ends on the internet super cheap this one was the case, was badly mounted, the, there was a problem with the diaphragm, well, the guy completely messed it up. So I already did some work on it, so I put things as they should be, but then uh, I didn't work directly on the helicoid, because I want to show to you, and then as you can see here, the thing is a bit stiff, and then the motion is a bit dry, I don't like it, it's not, not very smooth. So what we're going to do is to open the lens to remove the helicoid. So we'll do the classical thing. We're going to remove the bayonet. Okay. We we'll remove the bayonet. We we'll remove the aperture ring, and then here we have what we want which is the helicoid here well, it's just a thread and then the counter thread is here on the moving part and then when you move the focusing ring you have the outer thread that moves and then you have the inner thread that follows and then you have this key it presents it presents itself in different forms depending on the lens but then you will mostly all the time you will have a key that locks the rotation of the central part which is usually is the optical block so what we're going to do is just to go to infinity just to have one reference before everything and then we're going to remove the screws here and then we remove this key here so and then with the key gun we have thin that the frontal thing can so can rotate now and then this is where people usually make the first mistake is they don't mark the position where the helicoids separate so we need to be very very careful pay a lot of attention get ready with a pen so and then we move slowly take your time okay and then this is the point we want okay and then I mark the position where the two elements separate and then this is the first part we have separated the helicoid in two parts and then as you can see here just let me zoom a bit for you the grease is in very very bad condition it's dry very stiff and then here on the other side same thing there's also a lot of dirt so what we're going to do is just to get this clean it I'm going to show you just now how to do it just give me a few seconds to go and grab the cleaning stuff 
so I am back with the clean stuff this stuff is something that you can find very very easily so what we want to do is just to remove the grease and then to do so we will need some solvent and then I'm going to use myself lighter fluid but then you can also use gasoline or barbecue gas it also works and then I have a toothbrush just to brush things around a bit of toilet paper to dry and then a cotton swab that I'm going to use to pour the barbecue fluid, not the barbecue fluid, the lighter fluid around the helicoid just to avoid making a big mess. So I'm going to start with the clean. This is very easy. I start distributing the solvent into the helicoid. As I'm doing here, you can see the cotton swab, which is very dirty, but then you see also that the old grease is getting away rather easily. okay so that's it for this part we have taken away most of the old grease there is still some reminder reminds but uh, well this is just for the purposes of the video I'm going to do a more deep cleaning of camera and then we have done the first part of the helicoid and then here we're going to do the part of the lens just not to waste cotton swabs uh, let me just charge this one again ok this part is the messy one I prefer to clean as I make progress just to avoid a big mess at the end. So here we go, we're good. Okay, so here the work is very similar as with working with car parts. Not big difference here. And then we have managed to remove uh, most of the old grease. Now we have to remove uh, a bit the remains of the old grease. But then well, as you saw, it takes a bit of time, but it is extremely easy to do. And then we have what we want, which is two helicoids uh, parts that are clean now out of all grease. Now we're going to put new grease. So I am back, I got rid of the clean stuff for one very important reason is because those solvent vapors are not very good for health and then the second reason which is also very important I like to work in sequence so I finished the previous step I move to the present step and that's it so I have here my two clean helicoid parts and then I have the grease 
this is the grease I use is SKF and then the reference is LGLT2 I think this grease is made to work between uh, minus 15 degrees up to 60 something high endurance grease grease used in human machinery and very very good grease and then I have always the discussion with people and then people tell me like why don't you use lens grease and then my answer is lens grease is just standard grease with a really 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 high price tag this thing I think uh, the kilo is like something like 29 euros and then this thing which has 25 grams I have had it for maybe five years and then I haven't finished it yet so if you buy the kilo I think it's going to last forever okay and then to proceed with the things we are really interested in is just to put the grease so extremely easy I take a bit of grease I put a few small drops and then we want to distribute it I use my last cotton swab uh, just to distribute the grease I try to do as evenly as possible but then with the use the grease is also going to distribute itself nicely okay. I have the remains of the previous cotton swab uh, And then here we are. I add a small amount of grease. You can put a very small amount on the opposite part just for the sake of it. We'll remove any fibers we have to avoid polluting the grease and then that's it so I think we have enough grease now we proceed uh, to the final step which is reassembling the helicoid and then we have here here the mark I made in the beginning if you remember and then I come to the infinity position and then it should go in easily reach the position I want I finish the reassembly of the lens it is still a bit stiff but then I don't I don't worry about it immediately because I still need the grease to spread but then the lens is easy it's more easy to manipulate once it is assembled so first thing I put the key Okay, you see that by assembling the helicoid the first time exactly in the position I mark, it went in easily. I reach this position where the key is at once. But then, if you don't do all these things I mentioned before, uh, probably you won't reach this position and then you're going to spend a hell lot of time trying to figure out the right position and then this is what I actually did in the beginning before starting the video because as I told you I got this lens 
in bad condition and then one of the bad condition it, it was that it was bad, bad aligned and then I had to do a lot of trials until I was able to reach the good position and then the consequence of reaching the good position is that I can actually focus my lens at infinity okay so we're near done I will put the key then I finish the assembly of the lens Okay, this is not the main concern of the video today. Okay, here we are, we have reassembled the lens and then oh, still a bit dry. So I will do some back and forth motions just to make sure the grease spreads properly and then maybe there is a bit of grease missing so I will open again to repeat the process and put a bit more grease. But then this is how you work with helicoid and then if you see as you saw if you are methodic if you are organized working with helicoids is extremely easy so this is all i wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time